Hey there, my friends. So I'm gonna take you out into the goat pen in just one second. Um, we have some news, I guess. A lot of you on Instagram have been asking because I, f well, I think my three goats have kind of become a little bit of stars. I'm a little bit envious of them because um, everybody wants to know what they are doing, but not what I am doing, but that's okay. Um, Anyway, I don't think I introduced myself. If you are new here, I'm Mandy Middleton. I'm so glad that you found my YouTube channel. Um, but like I said, my goats have become kind of celebrities over on Instagram because we show them every day in stories. Um, so for those of you who are just tuning in, you can go and watch the other video that introduces um, our three goats to you um, but recently we have dropped down to two that sounded kind of bad um, nobody died nobody died um, but Miss K become some became somewhat of a celebrity because she was so bossy <laughs> she was um, she loved eating everyone else's food and um, but she, um, we did have to give her, or we did have to get rid of her just because, um, as you know, if you saw our last video, she had a baby. His name is Bolt. Um, Bolt is about to be nine weeks old, and um, he is um, figuring out what a billy goat should do. So, um, if you've ever lived on a farm or ever known anyone that has a farm, um, you know, it's not looked upon very kindly for a son and mom to make babies. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, we had the choice of which one to, um, to, you know, to take to a new home and um, we we did choose Bolt to stay just because Bolt is young we also have another goat named Ethel um, and Ethel and Bolt would make some very pretty babies one day so um, that was kind of the thinking behind that um, so so yeah, so I will take you out into the pen here in one, just, just one second, so you can meet Ethel and Bolt in case you have not. But it was very sad to see Miss Kay go, but we did give, um, we were able to actually give her back to her original owner, which is kind of cool. Um, here where I live, there are quite a few people who raise of course cattle we have cattle as well and raise goats and stuff so everybody kind of knows everybody or at least knows of everybody that does that kind of thing um the lady but goats were a new thing to us completely new so um whenever we got them back in april i think it was so um basically she has a whole bunch of goats and that's where Miss K came from. I also think that Miss K is a lot happier over there just because we had three goats here and she has like more than 20. I think Miss K is very, um, she is a social butterfly. So I think um, she is probably a lot happier over there. These two goats that we have right now, Ethel and um, Bolt, they, have personalities that are great for just having two goats. If we have learned anything about goats, um, and if you were ever thinking about getting goats, goats are not the easiest things to have as pets, but they're not the hardest either. I do have to say with our goats, and this could be a little bit different for other people, um, and you know, everybody's a little bit different, but with our goats, they are a lot harder than the cows. <laughs> um, goats are a lot more like people than what I thought. Um, you cannot just have one. They do get very lonely. They want companionship. 
Um, but again, they are just like people. Sometimes there are certain goats that don't like being around a lot of goats and they have maybe some social anxiety. And then you have goats that of course, you know, thrive just like with humans thrive on other people being around um, a lot of people being around at one time. So you have introvert and extrovert um, goats as well too. So um, I really think that it worked out for the best with Miss Kay. We hated to see her go, but of course it's always good to know that whenever they go to a good, good home, um, she does not breed them for meat and neither, neither do we. So, um, you know, the cows are not necessarily our pets, but these goats are our pets and we hate would hate, you know, that would just be terrible uh, to us. My kids would be very upset. We all would. But like I said, um, we have them as pets. She doesn't breed them for meat. She loves them. And I'm sure Miss Kay is just having the best time. Um, also, I'm sure that this question will come up if Bolt had like some, any kind of like um, anxiety after his mom left. Uh, we waited, uh, of course, until the right right time and opportunity, um, and he did very well. Um, I think he did very well just because, too, he loves Ethel. Um, they become buddies and everything, and um, he cried a little bit, but honestly, I thought that we would hear him cry all night long. And he didn't. I think he was already pretty much, he, he had already weaned himself enough to where he just wasn't, you know, the transition was very good. We had also heard, again, um, goats are like humans in some ways. We heard that they would have some major separation anxiety. But Miss Kay and Bolt both have done very, very well. We've spoken to the lady that um, took Miss Kay back and said that she walked right into the pen and she looked at all the goats and she kind of greeted all of them like she had never she had never left so and she's been gone since april so i think that was pretty cool but we got very blessed i think um bolt just has done great just because ethel's been around too so anyway i've talked enough but um let's go in case you haven't met Ethel and Bolt, um, let's go meet them. I almost always say Lucy and Ethel. If you saw our, please go back and watch um, my, my other goat videos because you will know that we did have one named Lucy and she passed away. So Lucy and Ethel, but it's so amazing how things work out. And um, Ethel now has a new pal. And probably a new boyfriend. So, yeah. So, let's go meet him. So, I'm going to let you walk out with me so you can just see. That is part of our cow pasture. And then, if you come right here, we have them blocked off from the cows. Of just, they don't need to be in the same fence as the cows. Um, so they are blocked off right here. But hey, Bolt. Hey, buddy. Hey. Let me in. Okay, you gotta get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. I don't have two hands because I've got the camera. So you're gonna have to get back, buddy. So this is Bolt. And he is a baby goat. He loves to head butt. And we are trying to teach him not to headbutt because that's not nice. Stop. That hurts. That hurts. He's just like a puppy. You got to tell him what he needs to do and what he doesn't need to do. Ethel, that is Ethel. Wow, lazy girl. Lazy, lazy. She's very lazy because she's just sitting there eating grass <laughs> while she lays down. But this is Bolt. Say hey, bud. He is very sweet, very rambunctious. I can't talk. He um, loves to play basketball with the kids. Say hey, bud. He loves to throw the ball. Um, he loves to headbutt. Like I said, we're trying to teach him not to do that because that hurts. That's just what baby goats do, though. 
they like headbutting and they like playing um he has a sweet little personality the kids come out here and they play with him like a dog i mean they throw the ball he goes and pushes it around or it's a basketball and he pushes it around with his nose so it gives him a chance to push something around and kind of headbutt something else besides our legs because He's getting big. He's almost as tall as Ethel, and he is solid muscle. Aren't you, bud? He loves hay. Hey, buddy. So, Ethel is part or is Nubian, and he is part Nubian. And how do you say it? Sit, sit, sit. Cyan? Cy I will, I can't ever say it the right way, but, um, so he has, he's half and half, but Ethel is Nubian. Um, what are you doing, buddy? He's got a ramp that he loves to go up and down. I'm too busy eating hay, though. Hey, Ethel, I can't believe that you were just too busy to even get up. Hey, girl. You're so lazy. And there goes Bolt. Stop that. He's, um, he's headbutting me in the butt. That's not nice. Okay, bud, that's enough. He also likes to chew on your shorts or whatever you have. No, sir. Stop. No, no. Be sweet. Be sweet. Let's go get the hay. Leave Ethel alone. Come on. Come up here. But they are very sweet. We only have two right now. People have asked if we're going to get more. Of course, you know, eventually. We're hoping that these two will have a baby. But other than that, we're not planning on getting any more just yet. Um, we've kind of had a tough time with them. Or just, I wouldn't say tough time, just trying to figure out, because we're new to having goats. So just, I wouldn't say it's a tough time, but we've just had a bit of a learning curve, I should say. More than what I thought that we would have. So, with goats, me and Chris both. So, so those are our goats. That's Bolt, and that's Ethel. And it's actually, usually at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it's like sweltering hot. And they're usually in their shed over here but today it's actually a little bit overcast so I think they came out to just say hello for a little while <laughs> you hear his ears flapping so that's our babes they're sweet we really do like we like having them um, if you have any questions I can't tell you that I know the answers to it because like I said it's been a learning curve for us and we're still learning, but um, maybe maybe we can learn from each other. So, thank you so much. Um, we also have blogs on amandamiddleton.me where I've dropped in the comments. So, you can go and check those out about goats. And also on Amazon, uh, my Amazon storefront, we have a lot of um, different stuff that you can choose from for your pet goats. So, see you soon.